Welcome to Garden Bound. Today, we're diving into a topic that could revolutionize your gardening approach, wood ash. Have you ever wondered if wood ash is a hidden gem or a ticking time bomb for your garden? Let's find out. In this video, we'll explore both the incredible benefits and the potential dangers of using wood ash in your garden. Wood ash is the residue left after burning wood, and it contains a variety of minerals and nutrients beneficial to plants. This natural byproduct primarily consists of calcium carbonate, which acts as a limbing agent to raise soil pH levels, making it less acidic. This is particularly useful for gardeners dealing with overly acidic soils. So what value can wood ash add to your garden? According to research by the University of Vermont Extension, wood ash acts as a liming agent, similar to agricultural lime, helping to raise the pH level of acidic soils. This is essential because many plants prefer a slightly acidic to neutral pH, and overly acidic soil can hinder nutrient availability and uptake. By applying wood ash, gardeners can create a more balanced soil environment that promotes healthier plant growth. But the benefits of using wood ash extend beyond pH adjustment. Wood ash provides trace elements such as magnesium, phosphorus, and iron, which are essential for various plant functions. Magnesium is crucial for photosynthesis. Phosphorus supports energy transfer and root development, and iron is necessary for chlorophyll production. Gardeners have observed that incorporating wood ash into their soil can improve the overall health and vigor of their plants, resulting in more robust growth and higher yields. Another key nutrient found in wood ash is potassium, which plays a crucial role in various plant functions. Potassium is vital for the synthesis of proteins and starches, helping plants develop strong cell walls and robust growth. It enhances the movement of water, nutrients, and carbohydrates within the plant contributing to overall vigor and productivity. Research highlights the significant impact of potassium on plant health. According to studies from the University of California, potassium helps plants develop stronger root systems, making them more efficient at, at water and nutrient uptake. This is particularly beneficial in drought-prone areas where water conservation is essential. Potassium also aids in photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy ensuring they have the energy needed for growth and development. Potassium also plays a critical role in disease resistance. Plants with adequate potassium levels are better equipped to withstand attacks from pathogens and pests. This nutrient enhances the plant's ability to produce defensive compounds and strengthens cell walls, making it harder for diseases to take hold. For instance, tomato plants that receive sufficient potassium are less likely to suffer from diseases like blight and wilt, which can devastate crops. A case study from a community garden in Maine showed that adding wood ash improved the growth and yield of root vegetables like carrots and beets, which thrive on potassium-rich soils. These vegetables exhibited stronger, more robust roots, and were less susceptible to rot and other soil-borne diseases. Now we mentioned dangers. What are they? First off, the presence of heavy metals is a significant concern due to the potential for these harmful substances to accumulate in the soil and be taken up by plants, eventually entering the food chain. Heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, and arsenic are particularly problematic. Heavy metals can enter wood ash if the wood being burned comes from contaminated sources. Common sources of contamination include treated wood. Wood treated with chemicals to prevent rot and insect damage often contains heavy metals. For example, chromated copper arsenate is a preservative that contains chromium, copper, and arsenic. Painted wood. Older paints, especially those used before the 1970s, may contain lead. Burning painted wood releases lead into the ash. Plywood and other engineered woods. These materials often contain adhesives and chemicals that can include heavy metals. Polluted areas. Wood collected from areas with high industrial activity or pollution may absorb heavy metals from the soil and air. Heavy metals can have various adverse effects on human health and the environment. Exposure to lead can cause developmental issues in children, affect cognitive function, and lead to cardiovascular problems in adults. It accumulates in the body over time, increasing the risk of severe health issues. Cadmium is highly toxic and can cause kidney damage, bone fractures, and cancer. It also tends to accumulate in the body over time. Long-term exposure to arsenic can lead to skin lesions, developmental effects, cardiovascular disease, neurotoxicity, 
and various cancers, including skin, lung, and bladder cancers. When wood ash containing heavy metals is applied to soil, these metals can persist for a long time due to their non-biodegradable nature. Plants can absorb these metals through their root systems, especially if the metals are present in a bioavailable form. Once inside the plant, heavy metals can accumulate in edible parts, posing a risk to human and animal health when consumed. Another concern is over-application, which can result in excessively alkaline soil. Most plants thrive in a soil pH range between 6.0 and 7.0, but adding too much wood ash can push the pH level above this range. Alkaline soil can inhibit the availability of essential nutrients, causing nutrient deficiencies and poor plant growth. For example, iron, manganese, and phosphorus become less available to plants in highly alkaline conditions, potentially leading to yellowing leaves and stunted growth. Lastly, wood ash contains soluble salts, which can accumulate in the soil and harm plant roots if applied in large quantities. Excessive salt in the soil can cause osmotic stress, where water is drawn out of the plant roots, leading to dehydration and root burn. This condition is particularly detrimental to young seedlings and salt-sensitive plants like beans and strawberries. Gardeners should apply wood ash sparingly and monitor soil salinity levels to avoid these adverse effects. Using wood ash in your garden can be beneficial, but it must be done with care to avoid potential negative effects. Here's a detailed guide to help you use wood ash safely and effectively. Before applying wood ash to your garden, it's crucial to test your soil's pH. According to the University of Minnesota Extension, Soil pH testing helps determine the current acidity or alkalinity of your soil, ensuring that adding wood ash will be beneficial. Wood ash acts as a liming agent, raising the pH of acidic soils. Ideally, your soil pH should be between 6.0 and 7.0 for most plants. As a general guideline, it's safe to use wood ash at a rate of 1.5 to 2 pounds per 100 square feet of garden area. This translates to approximately 1 to 1.6 ounces per square foot. When applying wood ash, spread it evenly across your garden soil. Avoid direct contact with plant roots as the high alkalinity can cause root burn. To incorporate the ash into the soil, water the area well after application. This helps to wash the ash into the soil and reduces the risk of it forming a crust on the surface. The ash should be tilled or mixed into the top 6 inches of soil for the best results. This ensures that the nutrients are available where plant roots can access them and helps to neutralize soil acidity more effectively. Proper storage of wood ash is essential to maintain its efficacy and safety. Store wood ash in a dry place, as moisture can cause it to form lye, a caustic substance that can be harmful to plants and soil microorganisms. A lidded container kept in a dry, cool area is ideal for storing ash. Make sure the storage container is labeled clearly to avoid accidental misuse. Additionally, avoid using ash from treated, painted, or stained wood, as it can contain harmful chemicals and heavy metals that can contaminate your soil and harm plants. Examples and case studies provide valuable insights into the practical application of wood ash in gardening. For instance, a gardener in Michigan successfully used wood ash to amend the acidic soil in her vegetable garden. By applying a moderate amount of wood ash, she was able to raise the soil pH to a more neutral level, which significantly improved the health and yield of her tomato plants. This example illustrates how wood ash can be an effective tool for adjusting soil pH and enhancing plant growth when used correctly. Another compelling case study comes from the University of Maine, where researchers investigated the impact of wood ash on blueberry farms. They found that moderate use of wood ash improved soil quality by increasing pH levels and adding essential nutrients such as potassium and calcium. This in turn boosted crop production and overall plant health. The study demonstrated that wood ash could be a sustainable and cost-effective soil amendment for crops that thrive in slightly acidic to neutral soils, such as blueberries. So what's the point? Wood ash can be a valuable addition to your garden if used correctly. It provides essential nutrients and can help balance soil pH, but it's important to apply it carefully to avoid potential dangers. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe to GardenBound for more gardening tips, and don't forget to share your experiences or questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gardening!